You're looking at the largest electric vehicle factory the world has ever seen. BYD's new mega plant in Zhengzhou, China stretches across 130 square kilometers. That's larger than the entire city of San Francisco. It's over 10 times the size of Tesla's Gigafactory in Nevada. And here's the shocker. Once it's fully operational, this place will pump out 1 million cars every single year. That's two cars every single minute, non-stop, 24-7. There are apartment buildings, schools, malls, sports fields, even a man-made lake. This isn't just a factory, it's an industrial city. And you? You're about to see how this mind-blowing engineering project is changing everything. EVs, global manufacturing, even how people live and work. Back in 1995, BYD wasn't even in the car game. It started with just 20 employees making rechargeable batteries for mobile phones. Fast forward a few years and the company took a risky leap, buying a failing Chinese automaker in 2003 and jumping into hybrid cars. At the time, most of the world was still driving gas guzzlers. But BYD had a different vision. In 2022, they dropped internal combustion engines entirely and went all in on electric and hybrid tech. By 2023, they sold over 3 million vehicles and raked in $85 billion in revenue. One year later, in 2024, that revenue jumped to $107 billion, surpassing Tesla. And now, in 2025, they're not just competing, they're dominating. Their secret weapon? This Gigafactory. This factory is being built in Zhengzhou, the capital of Henan province in central China. The site? A staggering 130 square kilometers. That's more land than Amsterdam, more than twice the size of Manhattan. It's so big, workers use electric buses to get from one side to the other. The site has been split into eight development phases. As of now, five phases are complete and operational. The remaining three are already under construction and will be wrapped up by late 2025. At full scale, it will house 16 massive production lines, all fully automated and AI-driven. Each line specializes in a different component, batteries, motors, electronics, vehicle frames, and final assembly. Six lines are currently live, producing 400,000 vehicles per year. Once all 16 are rolling, the factory's total capacity will hit 1 million cars annually. That's more than double what Tesla's Nevada plant produces, and it makes this the single most productive EV factory on the planet. But this isn't just about making cars faster, it's about making them smarter. BYD builds almost every component in-house, right here in this mega campus. We're talking about everything. The lithium-ion blade batteries, electric drive units, onboard chargers, even the semiconductors. And because all these parts are made and assembled under one roof, they cut down on transport costs, lower emissions, and keep quality tightly controlled. It's full vertical integration, and that gives them a huge edge in pricing. Let's break down one of the most important parts, the blade battery. It's one of BYD's signature technologies. Traditional lithium-ion batteries are stacked in big blocks, but blade batteries are long, thin, and flat, like a sword. That shape improves cooling, reduces fire risk, and makes the whole battery lighter and cheaper. These batteries are designed, tested, and mass-produced right here at Zhengzhou in dedicated clean rooms the size of football fields. And they don't stop there. The same campus has a research wing working on next-gen solid-state batteries, designed to deliver 800 kilometers of range with a 10-minute charge. BYD says those are going into production by 2026, and Zhengzhou will be their launch pad. Let's move from what's inside the factory to what's around it. This is where things get wild. Zhengzhou's Giga Campus is practically its own city. It currently houses over 60,000 workers on site. There are apartment buildings with free Wi-Fi, 
cafeterias that serve three meals a day, gyms, tennis courts, and football fields. Workers can fish in a 10,000 square meter man-made lake. Their kids go to schools built on campus. There's even a 200,000 square foot shopping mall packed with grocery stores, electronic shops, and restaurants. And this isn't just for comfort, it's strategy. Keeping workers on site boosts productivity, reduces turnover, and minimizes traffic congestion. Now, let's talk infrastructure. Zhengzhou is one of China's most important logistics hubs. It's where national highways, high-speed railways, and freight lines all converge. That means BYD can ship raw materials in and finish vehicles out with extreme efficiency. Compared to a coastal plant, this central location cuts transportation costs by up to 20%. There's even a new railway link, funded with government support, connecting the factory directly to the Shanghai port, over 800 kilometers away. Speaking of raw materials, BYD picked this location partly because Henan province sits on top of massive lithium and rare earth metal reserves, both critical for EV batteries. Having these resources nearby reduces reliance on imports and makes the entire supply chain less fragile. Still, BYD is smart. They know putting all your eggs in one basket is risky. So they've also secured mining rights in countries like Chile and Zimbabwe and are building sister factories in Brazil and Hungary to support international demand. Now, how does a factory this big stay powered? Here's where the sustainability magic happens. The roofs of Zhengzhou's production halls are lined with over 1.2 million square feet of solar panels. That's enough to power 20,000 homes every year. And it doesn't stop there. BYD designed a water recycling system that reuses wastewater from the manufacturing process, cutting water usage by 40%. These efforts reduce the plant's annual CO2 emissions by 120,000 tons. That's like planting 5 million trees every year. Still, with this much activity, automation is crucial. Thousands of robotic arms handle welding, painting, and part assembly. AI systems monitor quality in real time. If a defect is found, the line stops automatically. The entire operation is run from a central control room filled with massive touchscreens showing real-time status, power usage, inventory flow, and staff activity. It's like an air traffic control tower, except for cars. Each vehicle rolls off the line every 30 seconds, faster than any other EV plant globally. Models like the Song Pro DMI, BYD Seal, and Dolphin are all assembled here. And they're not just for China. The Zhengzhou plant is pumping cars into Europe, Southeast Asia, and Latin America. In fact, some analysts predict that by 2026, one out of every four EVs sold globally could come from this one factory. And just to make things even crazier, BYD plans to double its workforce here by 2026. That's 200,000 people living and working on site. That's not a factory, that's a city the size of Des Moines, Iowa, entirely dedicated to building electric cars. They're calling it a Terra factory, and that label fits. So how do you pay for a mega project like this? The total investment into BYD's Zhengzhou Gigafactory hasn't been publicly confirmed, but industry insiders estimate it to be well over $10 billion when fully completed. And that's just for the physical infrastructure. To make this mega project possible, BYD tapped into a powerful mix of government support and corporate muscle. The Hanan provincial government alone offered more than $500 million in incentives. That included tax breaks, subsidized land, and funding for essential infrastructure like high-speed rail links, expanded highway lanes, water and power hookups, and even fiber optic internet. But BYD didn't stop there. Most of the funding came directly from its own profits. In 2024, BYD pulled in a jaw-dropping $107 billion in revenue, surpassing Tesla. With a 5.1% profit margin, that gave them roughly $5.44 billion in net income to reinvest. And reinvest they did. 
BYD isn't just banking on one factory. They're currently building another mega plant in Hungary to serve the European market and bypass looming EU tariffs. And a second one in Brazil, aiming at locking down the fast-growing South American EV scene. At the same time, BYD is pouring billions into battery innovation, especially sodium-ion battery plants. These batteries are cheaper than lithium ones, safer in hot climates, perfect for compact EVs and scooters. That's key to BYD's ultimate strategy, full vertical integration. They want to control every link of the chain, from mining raw materials to assembling finished cars, inside their own network of gigacampuses. If the Zhengzhou model proves sustainable, BYD may just rewrite the playbook for how the world builds electric vehicles. If you're blown away by what BYD just built, hit that like button, subscribe, drop your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to turn on notifications. We've got more wild engineering stories coming your way.